Joining us now is former Arizona gubernatorial candidate, Carrie Lake. And Carrie, get with you in a second. I just want to show the headline of a comment she, uh, Christy Nome made when asked if she would run. I asked her a couple of weeks ago if she'd run for VP. She fluffed it off. But as of today, take a look at that headline right there. Christy Nome, the Newsmax, I'd absolutely consider running with Trump. Trump's going to be in South Dakota with Christy Nome tomorrow. She's going to endorse him. What are your thoughts on this? And, and, and I know Trump's a smart man. If Nome and you aren't on the short list, he's crazy, and I know he's not crazy. So what are your thoughts on this? Well, I think tonight's going to be an amazing event. I'm glad that um, Governor Nome is is endorsing President Trump. I, I've endorsed him since before he even jumped in because we need him so badly. And I know that she recognizes that as well. You know, you talk about VP, and, and I've, my name has been thrown out there. I'm truly not thinking about that. You know, I, I walked away from a career where I had fame and a fortune. And I walked away from that because what good is fame and fortune and a big contract if you don't have a country to enjoy that in? So frankly, anybody who's talking about a position and dreaming of a position in Trump's second administration really needs to get off their high horse and get down on the ground and start hitting the ground in the grassroots and making sure that President Trump has a second administration. And that's what I'm doing every day. I'm out there uh, uh, pushing for what President Trump has planned to get us out of the mess Joe Biden has gotten us into. I'm not thinking about any other position except how do we save our republic? And what can I do each day that I wake up to make sure I'm doing my part? And that's why I'm working with my court cases in Arizona. That's why I'm speaking tomorrow with the group of Republicans here in Florida. Uh, with, along with Byron Donalds, to make sure that we show them why America First policies will save this country. That's my goal, and I think that probably is Governor Noam's goal as well. I think the media is playing into this big horse race. Who's who? Who's in front? Who's in the running? And, and frankly, it doesn't matter. President well, Trump, well, frankly, well, he doesn't even need a VP. He does. He's so powerful. He doesn't. And, and Kerry, you know, Trump and I have been friends for a very, very long time. I asked him in between, the, you know, after towards the end of his first term before the election, I asked him, well, are you going to switch out Mike Pence? You think it was a mistake? Because I told him point blank, I think Mike Pence was a mistake. I stand by that. Well, yeah. Um, he said, <laughs> no, I'm not you. going to. So here's the question. What is it? What, what are the qualifications to be Trump's VP and who would be the best? I, I think first and foremost, somebody who loves the Constitution, somebody who recognizes that the Constitution is hanging by a thread right now and will go to Washington, D.C. and do whatever they can to uphold the Constitution. President Trump needs somebody who is loyal to him. And that's very important in politics, trust me. When you've been in politics for even a short period of time and people stab you in the back, it's not only painful, you don't want people like that on your team. As you're trying to implement America First policies, you can't have a bunch of people on your inner circle stabbing you in the back. So we need to make sure, and I know that President Trump will pick somebody who is loyal to the America First uh, policies that he's putting forward, and that's not going to stab him in the back. And we need somebody who the media fears as much as they fear President Trump and somebody who is going to stand up, speak out and speak out intelligently for uh, his policies, his Agenda 47. And so I know that I have, I have zero doubt that President Trump, when it comes time for him to pick a vice president, will pick the best person that will help him at that moment will help him with a, if he needs a certain state, if he needs a certain uh, you know, group of people to push him over the edge to get him into the White House. Frankly, I think he's going to win in a landslide. Doesn't matter who his VP is. He is such an incredible, strong candidate and president. We saw that he, what he did in four years, and America can't wait to get him back in office. I believe it will be a landslide victory, and President Trump will go on to do great things. Uh, yeah. He's not just the greatest president we've ever had. I think he'll go down as one of the greatest leaders in, in human history. Yeah, I, I'm so glad. You know, when, when I ask you that question, I'm so glad. I'm, so many people say, well, he has to pick an African-American or he has to pick a female for the female. You didn't mention any of that. You said he needs to pick someone who will support him in America first policies. And, and that is the and so many people don't get this, that conservatives aren't about diversity uh, quotas. We're about meritocracy, not diversity. And well, not and we're, that diversity we're truly about. Well, go ahead. We're about America, and America is bringing people together. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. It doesn't matter uh, where you grew up, what you came from. What matters is, do you love this country? Do you respect the Constitution? Do you want to save this republic? 
We're, we don't yep. have to look at our differences. The left wants to put us into small little groups because when you're in a small group, you're easier to divide and conquer. I don't you, want to divide you don't, and conquer. You don't want your heart you surgeon. Pick. You don't want your heart surgeon to be picked because of diversity, or nor your your, your airplane pilot to be picked. And you That's certainly right. shouldn't <laughs> want your leaders of your country picked for the same reasons. Carrie Lake, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Eric, and thank you for all you do.